Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in City Skyline. Uh, we're going to start with the Pyramider of Windows. After that, we're going to look at the launcher on Steam. And after that, we're going to look at Pyramider inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a, a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox Game Bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox Game Bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphics setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for an example here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have a, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for NVIDIA, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option, make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance um, on a de desktop computer. It should not be an issue, but if you're playing on a laptop, really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is, sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimizes your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2%, 10% boost in your FPS, depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So for Steam, I recommend to right-click on City Skyline, go to Properties. If you have a very old computer and uh, your GPU was based for DirectX uh, 9, I recommend to just force the game and run at DirectX 9. It will be better for your FPS and also you will have a proper full-screen uh, mode 
uh, parameter. But if you have a, a computer that, I don't know, it's six or seven years old, but it's not very powerful, you're still better to run the game at the DirectX 11. It will be better for you. It's really like if you're using an old computer with a GPU who was made for DirectX 9 or 10, uh, that will help. But if you have something more recent, don't use this launch option. So now let's go inside of the game. So now the graphic settings, we're going to go to option. So in the graphic section, First of all, just select your aspect ratio for the majority of the people, you will use the 16 by 9. Uh, so you have a couple of uh, options over there. Uh, for the resolution, I recommend to go with native. So if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K, 1080p, 1080p. Uh, don't lower your resolution. Uh, it will affect like your image quality. Everything will look blurry, so I don't recommend to change that. For the display mode, go with full screen. And for the V-Sync, I'm, I'm not using it. Uh, because I have a free sync monitor, but if you have like a G sync or a free sync monitor, definitely don't use that. And if you don't have those technology, I recommend maybe to activate V sync. Uh, it it will add some input lag, but you will not have crazy amount of tearing. Uh, and I have a lot of tearing in this game if I don't use free sync. And also, it will just lock your FPS with the amount of hertz of your monitor. So it will be good for um to keep a decent thermal for your GPU. After that, for preference, I recommend to go with none for color correction. I don't using it. Depth of fill, remove all of that. So disable, put the slider hit here at minimum. Uh, it will help you a lot for your image clarity. And for the film grain, same thing. It's more for your image clarity. Go with minimum. For quality setting, this one is the most important one, the shadow. I recommend to just disable. If you go high to disable, you can expect a nice 15% boost in your FPS. If you want shadows, you can definitely use low but make sure that your shadow distance is not too crazy so very short or short if you're going far or very far you will tank a lot your fps so i really recommend if you're struggling with an entry level computer with an integrated gpu just go with something like disabled for the texture quality if you have 3 gig of more of vram go with high 2 gig medium less than 2 gig go with low for the level level of detail honestly I didn't see a big difference between low and medium. It's like 2% uh, difference in your FPS. So I recommend to go with medium, better image quality. High and very high will tank a lot your FPS. For anisotropic filtering, you can use enable without any issue. And for the anti-aliasing, I recommend to go with disable. You can expect a nice 5% boost in your FPS. Also, I use a mode called FPS Booster. It will not boost your uh, FPS like crazy, but it will help for uh, thermal and all those issues that you can have. So I recommend, first of all, to limit the game at 60 FPS if you're struggling with your thermals. And also, you can use the GPU cooldown um, um, option, if you can say. So in the main menu, if you, have, you can select the amount of FPS that you want to use. So I recommend those settings. You can definitely change it if you want. Uh, if you're playing on, on a laptop, that's pretty cool because when you will pause the game, I recommend to go with something like 15%, uh, uh, 15 FPS, sorry, or, or 30 if you want, if you're getting better thermal. But it, it will uh, cool down a little bit your component because if you have throttling issue with this game, you will lag like crazy. So for example, your CPU is at 3.2 when it boosts clock and you're getting some throttling, you're going at 2.8, 2.5, 0.5 you will start lagging. So super important to keep your uh, thermal very cool. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.